Good morning Summerford. Welcome to our first celebration assembly from my office in a very, very empty school. We are all missing you so much and we wanted to check in with you today. This is our first video, so you have to bear with us. It's just me and my office and my phone at the moment, but hopefully we will be able to get a bit more high tech and we'll do some even better videos. I want to say a huge thank you for all of you who are really engaging with being at home, staying in and staying safe. It's really important that we all stick to those rules so that we can join back together again, all healthy and well, as soon as this is over. We want you all to stay safe. It's also been amazing to hear through when your teachers have phoned you for a chat or through email, how you've really been engaging with all the challenges and the activities that your teachers have been setting you, you've been working through your work packs, you've been reading, and we're so proud of you. So I asked the teachers to nominate just one person, normally it's two, they were only allowed to nominate one today, so one person from each class who they've been really super impressed with. They said it was an impossible task I'd given them because there were so many children. But we will be doing these assemblies hopefully every week, so lots of you will get a mention. But these are the people for our first week of home learning that have really shone out to our teachers. So in reception, we would like to celebrate Kiva for being amazing at keeping up with her reading and writing at home. Mrs Hins James is super proud of you and you have your superstar certificate which hopefully will arrive in the post to you. So well done Kiva in Mrs Hins James's class, fantastic. In year one, Mrs Ramos would like to celebrate Kira for working really hard at home and sending in lots of pictures by the class email so Mrs Ramos can see what you've been up to. Well done, Kira, that is fantastic. And Mrs Ramos is doing well, she's healthy, baby's healthy, and she really missed saying goodbye to everyone at the end of um, when she had to go off, but she's really pleased that she's able to keep up with you um, with the emails and the phone calls. So well done, year one. Year two, Mrs Semple would like to nominate Alison for working really hard at home and sending lots of pictures of her amazing learning to the class email account. Well done Alison, absolutely super. And in our other year two class, Miss Bryant would like to celebrate Ruby for doing lots of lovely, wonderful learning, but also loads of fun activities like baking and PE, which is um, really good to hear because they're learning too. Don't think you have to be spending all day doing those work packs. It's great to be able to do all those other things as well. Um, Miss Bryant mentioned that Ruby's been doing lots of PE. How many of you have been doing the Joe Wicks workout in the morning, nine o'clock on his YouTube channel? My children made me do it for two days. I'm broken now, but it's really good fun. So if you haven't done that yet, have a go at Joe Wicks at nine o'clock and well done, Ruby. Year three, Mrs. Cook would like to celebrate Amelia for super enthusiasm with her home learning. Well done, Amelia. Can be hard to get going at home, but make sure you get up, get dressed, start off with a bit of Joe Wicks and then move on to some of that learning. Well done, Amelia. Mrs. Cook says you're doing really, really well. Miss Darley would like to nominate Edward in her class. She said that Edward is pretty much working harder at home than he would in school, and she's very, very proud of you, Edward. She said you have produced some splendid home learning every single day. Well done. Mrs Hudson would like to nominate Maya in her class for working so hard all week and doing all the challenges too. And Mrs Hudson's really enjoyed receiving your emails. I know one challenge Mrs Hudson set her class was to find things around the home that they could make into all the different letters of the alphabet. One was to make a spring picture. So all these things are really good things to be doing at home too. It doesn't just have to be those learning packs. Mrs Gaines, we're moving on to um, year four, five. Mrs Gaines would like to celebrate Phoebe in her class for completing lots of work, sending pictures, and she said when she had a chat with you on the phone, it was clear that you were really enjoying all the activities. So well done, Phoebe, in Mrs Gaines's class. 
and in Mrs Whitehead's class she would like to celebrate Harry for embracing all the home learning challenges and still producing beautiful work. She's been so impressed with that when you've sent some pictures through of that on email. Well done Harry. And we go to year six. So we have Carlton in Miss Southam's class. You were the first one to send any work on the class email, Carlton. So for being number one, you get the first celebration certificate. Well done, Miss Southam was really pleased to receive it. And in Miss Fountain's class, Miss Fountain would like to nominate Bianca for sending lots of photos of all her amazing home learning. She's been really impressed with all the work that you've been sending through. Well done, Bianca. So there we go. Mrs Cook is popping into school later. She's going to collect all the cards and she's offered to post them all to you so you can get your celebration certificate at home. I know our reception year one and year two are used to having green leaves, but we're just going to stick to our celebration postcards for the moment. Hopefully you'll get those in the post over the next couple of days. We really do miss you all and we're looking forward to seeing you all again soon. If your parents think you've been super good this week, maybe you could check in for a hot chocolate at 2.30. Hot chocolate with me normally happens at 2.30 on a Friday. Maybe you can have a hot chocolate at home. But I know it's quite tricky to get milk, so maybe you might have to have something else. But enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a lovely weekend. And then your teachers will be back in contact with you again next week um, to send you some more exciting learning tasks. And we hope to see you all again soon. Bye.